Analysts describe the upgrade from S500 to S600 as critical because it reflects a moment where air defense is no longer just about stopping missiles, but about surviving an entire ecosystem of threats. The pace of technological change has compressed decision time, multiplied the number of airborne objects, and blurred the line between peace and conflict. In that environment, standing still is the same as falling behind. The S-600 discussion emerges from this pressure, signaling that Russia is attempting to future-proof its air defense rather than simply modernize it. The S-500 was already a strategic milestone. It was built to counter threats operating at the edge of the atmosphere, including ballistic missiles and hypersonic vehicles, placing it in a category beyond conventional air defense. Its design assumed that the most dangerous threats would be few in number but extreme in capability. For years, that assumption held. But recent conflicts and technological trends have shown that danger can also come from the opposite direction, cheap, numerous, and difficult to classify platforms. This realization is one of the main reasons analysts say the upgrade is critical. The transformation toward an S-600 framework appears to respond directly to the diversification of threats. Instead of focusing primarily on altitude and speed, the system concept shifts toward full-spectrum airspace awareness. That means detecting, tracking, and assessing everything from hypersonic weapons to slow-moving drones within a single integrated defense layer. Artificial intelligence sits at the center of this transformation. The S-500 relied on advanced automation, but the S-600 concept suggests a deeper reliance on AI as a decision-making partner rather than a support tool. Modern air defense generates overwhelming amounts of data from radars, sensors, and electronic surveillance systems. AI enables the system to fuse this data, recognize patterns, and identify threats in real time, reducing the risk of human overload during high-intensity situations. This capability becomes critical when dealing with small drones. Drones are not challenging because they are powerful, but because they exploit gaps in traditional detection logic. They fly low, move slowly, and often appear indistinguishable from environmental noise. Analysts believe the S-600's AI-driven filtering allows it to separate meaningful targets from clutter, enabling the system to detect and engage drones that older systems might ignore or misclassify. The ability to counter drones is strategically important because drones are increasingly used as force multipliers. They scout defenses, relay targeting data, and overwhelm systems through numbers rather than sophistication. A defense layer that can reliably detect and neutralize these platforms denies adversaries one of their most cost-effective tools. This is one reason analysts argue the S-600 upgrade is not optional but necessary. At the same time, the S-600 does not shift focus away from high-end threats. Stealth aircraft remain a core concern, particularly those designed to penetrate defended airspace undetected. The S-600's radar philosophy appears to move beyond reliance on a single powerful radar toward a network of sensors operating across multiple frequencies. By correlating weak radar returns, passive emissions, and environmental disturbances, the system can build a track even when no single sensor provides a clear detection. This approach matters because stealth is not invisibility. Stealth aircraft are optimized against specific radar bands, not against a fully integrated, multi-sensor environment. Analysts suggest the S-600 leverages this limitation, increasing the probability of early detection. Early detection does not guarantee interception, but it changes the engagement entirely by allowing defenders to position assets and prepare responses in advance. Another reason the upgrade is considered critical is electronic warfare resilience. Modern conflicts show that jamming and spoofing are standard tactics, not exceptional ones. A defense system that fails under electronic pressure becomes irrelevant at the moment it is needed most. The S-600 concept emphasizes adaptive signal processing, allowing the system to adjust to interference rather than being blinded by it. This adaptability is increasingly seen as a defining feature of survivable air defense. From a system's perspective, the transformation from S-500 to S-600 also reflects a shift toward network dominance. Instead of treating air defense components as isolated units, the S-600 appears designed to function as part of a continuously connected ecosystem. Sensors, command nodes, and interceptors share data in real time, reducing single points of failure and improving overall resilience. 
Analysts view this integration as critical in a world where attacks are designed to disrupt networks rather than destroy individual systems. Power in this context is not measured solely by missile speed or range. It is measured by how long a system can remain effective under sustained pressure. The S600's architecture is often described as being built for endurance, capable of managing prolonged engagements against mixed threat types. This contrasts with older models optimized for short, high-intensity exchanges. The question of dominance naturally follows. Analysts do not suggest that the S600 guarantees control of the skies, but that it raises the cost of access to a level many adversaries must seriously consider. A defense layer that can detect stealth aircraft, counter drone swarms, and operate under electronic attack reshapes strategic planning. Even the perception of such capability can deter certain actions or force opponents to allocate disproportionate resources. Globally, this upgrade is viewed as critical because it challenges established assumptions about air power. For decades, speed, stealth, and precision were seen as decisive advantages. The S600 represents an attempt to neutralize those advantages by emphasizing awareness, integration, and adaptability. This does not eliminate the effectiveness of advanced aircraft or missiles, but it narrows their margin for success. It is important to note that many details about the S-600 remain analytical rather than confirmed. Developing and sustaining such a complex system presents enormous technical and logistical challenges. Analysts remain cautious about timelines, scalability, and real-world performance. However, the urgency of the upgrade itself is revealing. Ultimately, analysts say the S-600 upgrade is critical because it reflects an understanding that modern defense is no longer about preparing for one type of threat. It is about preparing for uncertainty. By evolving from the S-500 toward a more intelligent, adaptive, and inclusive defense layer, Russia appears to be positioning itself for a future where airspace is constantly contested. In that environment, the ability to see, understand, and respond faster than an adversary becomes the most decisive form of power. Share your thoughts below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us next time as we explore more of the world's most advanced military technologies.